magazine to find out whether it is going to be possible to get more people to buy this product, the medical journal, I go and conduct the survey among law students. Would that make any sense? No. Whether the law students like the journal or not is not going to help in the sales of the product because a medical journal would be bought or purchased by only medical students. So when you want to get information, when you want to generalize, that must be appropriate or applicable to the situation. You cannot take it for granted what is working there will be applicable in some other situation. So hasty generalization is a common error. The second is what I call as a false analogy. The flaw of false analogy. What is an analogy? Analogies are parallels. Parallels that are drawn either to support a fact or to weaken a fact. Suppose you are having this discussion with your parents about you are wanting to go to Kashmir for a holiday and your parents are objecting to it saying that this is not the right time to go. It's not a safe place to go. And you tell them just last month a group of my friends went to Kashmir. They had a fantastic time, came back safe and sound. Why are you giving them this particular illustration or example as a parallel? to prove that if you were to travel to Kashmir, you will also have a great time and come back safe and sound. Now here the parallel is completely logical. But suppose you were to tell your parents, my friends went to Kanyakumari, had a great time, so why can't I go to Kashmir? Does that make sense? The, the discussion here is not about your holiday, it's about where you want to go for the holiday. Many times false analogies are drawn where you draw parallels which are not logical. A particular argument talks about, you know, a situation where a food a manufacturing company, a food processing company is celebrating its silver jubilee. And this argument says that when, generalization here, the argument says when companies are in the market for a period of time, they learn to do things more efficiently and thereby bring more, bring more profit for their stockholders. Now, as this company is celebrating its Silver Jubilee, we can expect this company to make good profits for its stockholders. To further support this argument, it gives you a parallel. It says, in 1970s, in the film processing industry, what used to take four days to process a film and what used to cost five dollars to get a print, now takes you two hours to process a film and it costs you a fraction of the price to print a film. So what is it trying to say here? That film processing industry has become both cost effective and efficient. And it wants to tell you this argument, the same logic, food processing industry would also become both cost effective and profitable for its stockholders. But here the problem is, what can happen in film processing need not necessarily be reflected in food processing. This may not be logical. If at all this argument has to be strong, then the argument should have given example taken from food processing industry, not from film processing. So when you draw examples, just because both are processing industry doesn't mean there are parallels here. What happens there may not happen here. So when parallels are drawn, we need to be very careful to examine those analogies, those illustrations to see whether they work in this particular situation. Whether that parallel is really a parallel, whether it is acceptable. A particular argument tells you that a particular community of people, they should adopt certain changes in their overall community appearance. That is, they should bring about a common paint for all the houses of the community. They should paint all their houses in similar colors. They should also do some landscaping, spend some money on landscaping because it says doing this will increase the cost of the property. To support the argument, a parallel is given. It is told seven years ago when another community did something like this, the cost of their property tripled. What does this argument say to support its argument? That this community should spend money on landscaping and, and uniform house painting. It gives us a parallel of another community which seven years ago when it did something like this, 